Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Arnold Palmer's Tournament Golf on the Sega Mega Drive, released in 1989 in Japan and North America, in 1990 in the UK. And in Japan, it was known as No, I can't pronounce it, No Michi Okaza Supermasters. But obviously, in North America and the UK, they wanted to, well, I guess, brand it with a golfer that people recognised. Although I don't know how familiar we were with Arnold Palmer in the UK uh, back in 1990, but I guess. I guess that if you were into your golf back then, you probably know. He's often referred to as the gentleman of golf because his reputation has been just, quite frankly, one of the nicest people ever. Inside and outside of the sport is absolutely incredible. Rest in peace, Arnold. Now, I have a massive, massive amount of nostalgia for this game. I was never the biggest golf player. I dabbled with leaderboard on the spectrum and sucked at it. Uh, I always find it a bit too complicated. Uh, and then I uh, didn't really touch any golf games on Sega Master System. I mean, leaderboard was on there, but I'm struggling to think of any other ones. And then I never went out of my way to get this game on the, the Mega Drive. But there was a little sort of, um, was it Antics? Uh, it was in it was in the corner of uh, West Street and North Street in Bedminster, and it was there. Yeah, and they um, were well, mighty MicroMasters, but they used to have cheap second-hand games in there. I bought Madden's in there um, in the crap cardboard case. But they had this in there one day, and it was only 11 quid, and I was, you know, I was a, a wee lad. I wasn't flush in the green. Oh, flush in the green. See, that kind of relates to golf. Yeah, I'll shut up. Uh, so I bought it, and then I became obsessed with it. I absolutely loved it. Used to play it for hours with my then best mate, a kid called Shane, who actually played golf. He used to get incredibly butthurt and upset that I would thrash the shit out of him. Shouldn't say words like that, should I? when it's been prefixed with butter, and we're talking about a game where you use clubs. Hmm, never mind. But he couldn't handle the fact that I used to beat him because he used to be, like, into golf. And I was always like, dude, just because you play golf, the only advantage that will give you is knowledge of how far the clubs will strike the ball, but I'm circumventing that by using the manual. Right, new game. It's got a password system. I think it just got average reviews. I mean, clearly you can see it's a Japanese title and they've just rebranded it with Arnold Palmer. Well, I, back in the day, I always thought looked like Bobby Robson. That's not a bad thing. Right, do I want to put my name in? Yeah, why not? Yeah, password selection, that's quite good. You've got a caddy as well. You can put a cheat in to turn your... Well, I'm pretty sure you can. I'm pretty sure I did back in the day. Put a cheat in to turn your caddy into a hippie who talks utter bollocks. Kind of like what hippies do in the real world, eh? Right, next, next. Oh, and very simplistic menu. But where it, where it goes wrong, where it goes wrong, it's a very early golf game. It doesn't tell you the distance of your clubs. Uh, so, I mean, if you know golf, then that gives you an advantage, I guess, but it is in the manual. So I used to play it religiously with the page of the manual open, which I have with this copy. This is a second-hand, well, of course it's second-hand, it's fucking 2019, um, copy of the Mega Drive game. And anyway, 18, 16, 18, 16 golf received an invitation to play in the World Pro Golf Tour by winning all 12 rounds, you will become the new world champion. Right, there you go, your club selection. Um, but yeah, so I've got the manual, but I've actually got it open on my computer screen because look at me being all competitive. But I'm rusty as fuck as this. It's just it's because it's a game I had back in the day. That's I and mean, even though it's not Japanese version, that's why it's in uh, my re-piece together Mega Drive collection. Boom. Right. Music may be on the smallest loop ever but it's nice and tranquil, which you would expect, or hope so, for a golf game. It's really simple layout, it's simplish, controls, can't remember what half of them do, but it's for a very early, well, at this point, you know, golf you know, games have been knocking around on 8-bit, 60-bits for a while, but I'm talking about the consoles here. It's, it's nicely laid out, it's quite simple, and the winner is given a new set of clubs. Oh, that's right, you win, you get new clubs, so obviously increase your power. Therefore, how accurate does the manual become at that point? You got your course, aerial view down the top on the left hand side uh, I'm an equal opportunity employer so my caddy is a bird uh, and yeah so it's simplistic flat peak cat khakis and a red polo shirt right Dave shot one you start on one wood right par uh, 
five. So that's the number of shots you're allowed. Look at me, I could practically play golf in real life. 508 yards. So we're going to go with a number one wood, which two shots of that should take me within a hot wedge, sub, sub, sandwich? I'll have a sandwich, please. All right, turkey. Hold the mayo. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, right, so there you go, it's telling you the which way the wind's blowing, which is straight towards me, so obviously that blunts, um, why is she standing in front of a football? Uh, right, that blunts the power, I guess. I mean, does it, how, how AI is this computer going to be in this, right? There you go, I'm pressing up and down, left and right, and it's not playing with my balls. So, okay, hey, again, going to go with that, right, so here's where it is, look. I'm going to face it straight on, to be perfectly honest, I never ever changed it when I was a kid. You don't, you don't get anything fancy here, you'll see what I mean, it's very very simplistic. You don't you know, like no passing over the top sh uh, camera angles and stuff like that. Look at my tight Adidas trainers. Right, so look, now as far as I can tell, it's just get it perfectly to the top, to the top of the blue, but don't go any further or it resets it. I could be wrong, this is how I played it as a kid, for maximum power, and then get it bang on the line at the bottom. Either way, above or beyond, it will make the direction go. I think I could be wrong. I could be playing it wrong all these years. Anyway, excuse me while I shut up and concentrate. Oh. That looks nice. See, you just, you just try the ball and you just see it fucking off into the distance. Good pose, good poise. It's in the rough. Ha! Gonna laugh every time that comes up. Uh, there are 254 yards, so number one wood gives me 230. Look at me and my maths, isn't it amazing? Um, right, so here we go. These are 24 yards. Right, let's. Is that because the wind. I'm gonna change my stance. Oh, I'm in the rough! No, I'm gonna go with the wood again. Oh. oh no, let's go with two and oh, and uh Oh well, let me go with two. Ah see, you don't have all the clubs then, do you? Oh, or is it limiting me to the ones I can use? I'm going this way. I don't know if it makes any difference for the bollocks to it. Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh shies and balls. Obviously, because it was in the rough, it basically shafted my shot. Referee, referee, where are we now? Mm, uh, how many yards remaining? 190. Ooh. Right, well, I'm going to overcook it and go for number four wood. Because, what's my ball layout? Because the wind's still against me. Ah, it's not rough. Fuck it, I'm going to go for the number four wood. There we go. Anytime you want to change the music. Oh, fuck knockers. See, this is where it is, it's in the rough. Right, well then I'm gonna really do it and go with a sandwich, pot wedge. I don't know that makes any difference. I've given up reading the manual. Because I'm a man, that's how we do things. Oh, my reaction. They're shizen, oh fuck, look at that. May have tad overcooked it, I don't know. Maybe I'll just use this club all the time from now on. Look at that, 99 yards remaining. Right, uh, excuse me while I uh, <laughs> scroll down because I just lost my club layout on the screen. There we go, 99 yards remaining. Putt wedge? Again? Ooh, that gives me 90. Oh yeah, I fuck it's in the rough, of course, that's what we're going to do. Mm, I don't know. Come on, drop, 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 drop. It's in the rough. I thought it was on the green. Oh, 13 yards remaining. I don't have a club that's that much of a pussy. So this is where you're working out your power comes in. Oh! Well, thank you very much. How many out? Oh, this is part five. I've got to sink it to make it. I didn't. That was no. That was my fault. Oh fuck it. I remember I used to play it all the time because I could actually sink it better like this back in the day. See? 
<laughs> That's what I used to do, was just hang around the side of the green. Right, like a hooker. A green hooker. Where am I? Dave, at the bottom. Ooh. Look at Keith, with his excellent stroke. Awkward. Right, 408 yards. You're 408 yards. Oh, look at that. So this is where... I don't know how it's going to... Don't go in the fucking sand bit. It's in the rough. I'll take the rough over the sand. Ooh! 219. Right, so the wind's going to the right. Where do I want to cook it? 219. We'll go for two wood then. 220? Obviously it's going to make no difference. I really doubt the stats are that accurate. That was champagne golf right there. The fairway. You're a fairway. Away from the hole. Hey, am I here all week? You're welcome. What was that? Oh, I reckon. Upwards. Half power. Drop. fucking golfing legend. I'd be like Tiger Woods, but I could keep my dick in my pants. <laughs> Obviously that means the, the incline and... No! Oh, you just hit it, don't you? You don't have to come back down. I keep forgetting that. Shit balls. There we go. It's all come flooding back. I reckon I could actually now probably sit in and do a couple of good holes, but alas, this video has got too long. Arnold Palmer's Tournament Golf on the Sega Mega Drive. Ah, uh, I love this back in the day. If you had this back in the day, I'd love to know what you thought of it. Or do you still play it now? And does it still hold up as a pretty decent golf game? Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later. I'm off to polish my balls. 